Well, hello, little doves between the ages of three and six. It's Pastor Jerry. Hope you're ready for Sunday school. Good morning, good morning. Today is Sunday. And you know what Sunday is all about? I just want to welcome both the parents, moms and dads, and our little doves. Welcome, welcome, as you start the day today with the Word of God. I hope that everyone has had a lovely day and has had a lovely weekend, actually, more than anything. Little doves, I hope you're sanitizing and living by the rules at home. Today, what we're going to be doing is, first of all, we're going to start off with a prayer. And after a prayer, we have to do our virtues. It's very, very important. After our virtues, what do we do next? Um, we do praise and worship. And I hope everyone is ready, ready, and have the dancing shoes right next to them. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a prayer. So can everyone put their hands together? Little doves, are you ready? So this is how we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. I just want to thank you for life. Thank you for my mommy and thank you for my daddy. Thank you for my family. Thank you that I'm in perfect, perfect health. Thank you that I love and respect my elders and follow the rules at home. Thank you, Father God in heaven, for giving me so much knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Thank you that I can remember my memory verse and read my Bible. I thank you for all the love you've given me. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray and everybody said, Amen. So what do we do after this? I know that my doves know their virtues. So what's next is our virtues. And after our virtues, what do we do? Just a reminder, offering is always important. So I hope the little ones are also putting it in their little ticky box over there. Right now, what are we going to be doing? Are you ready with your dancing shoes? And I hope parents, please do join. It's going to be so much fun. as a city kid to behave as Jesus Christ would at all times, to listen to authority, to be bold and talk to everyone about Jesus Christ, to learn one memory verse a week, to respect and help others. The virtues of a city kid are honesty, respect, compassion, and responsibility. Hello Doves, hope you enjoyed praise and worship because I definitely enjoyed praise and worship. So, does everyone have their Bibles ready? Because I definitely have mine. Moms and dads, please be there to help our kids with the Word of God, just in case they don't even know what page to go to. So guys, today we're going to be reading Psalm 40 verse 4. I'm going to repeat it again. Psalm 40 verse 4. This is what the Word of God says. 
Blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. I'm going to repeat the verse again. Blessed is he that trusts in the Lord. Whether we're at school, at home, with friends and family, we must trust God. Whether we're in the road or far away from home, God is always there for us. And he's always waiting for us to call him. So just always know that there's someone who always has your back and that is God at all times. Hello Doves, do you know what time it is right now? It is time for Bible story time. So what do you need when it's time for Bible story? We need our Bible. And guess what else we need today? We need our bag. Because we're going to be traveling. And what do we do when we travel? When we move from place to place. We need to put up our books and all our stuff inside our bags. Get ready for the journey where it started in Genesis 12 verse 1. Please have your ears wide open as we go into our journey. The Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country, your family, and your relatives, and go to the land that I will show you. I will bless you and make your descendants into a great nation. You will become famous and a blessing to others. I will bless anyone who blesses you, but I will put a curse on anyone who puts a curse on you. Everyone on earth will be blessed because of you. Abraham was 75 years old when the Lord told him to leave the city of Haran. He obeyed and left with his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, and all the possessions and slaves they had gotten while in Haran. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abraham went as far as the sacred tree of Moreh in a place called Shechem. The Canaanites were still living in the land at the time, but the Lord appeared to Abraham and promised, I will give this land to your family forever. Abraham then built an altar there for the Lord. Later, the Lord spoke to Abram in a vision. Abram, don't be afraid. I will protect you and reward you greatly. But Abram answered, Lord, all-powerful, you have given me everything I could ask for, except children. And when I die, Elisa of Damascus will get all I own. You have not given me any children, and this servant of mine will inherit everything. The Lord replied, No, he won't. You will have a son of your own, and everything you have will be his. Then the Lord took Abram outside and said, Look at the sky and see if you can count the stars. That's how many descendants you will have. Abram believed the Lord, and the Lord was pleased with him. The Lord makes another promise to Abram. The Lord said to Abram, I brought you here from Ur in Chaldea, and I gave you this land. Abram asked, Lord God, how can I know the land will be mine? Then the Lord told him, Bring me a three-year-old cow, a three-year-old female goat, a three-year-old ram, a dove, and a young pigeon. Abram obeyed the Lord. Then he cut the animals in half and laid the two halves of each animal opposite each other on the ground. But he did not cut the doves and pigeons in half. And when birds came down to eat the animals, Abram chased them away. As the sun was setting, Abram fell into a deep sleep, and everything became dark and frightening. Then the Lord said, Abram, you will live to an old age and die in peace. But I solemnly promise that your descendants will live as foreigners in a land that doesn't belong to them. They will be forced into slavery and abused for 400 years but I will terribly punish the nation that enslaves them, and they will leave with many possessions. Four generations later, your descendants will return here and take this land, because only then will the people who live here be so sinful that they deserve to be punished. Sometime after sunset, when it was very dark, a smoking cooking pot and a flaming fire went between the two halves of each animal. At that time, the Lord made an agreement with Abram and told him, 
I will give your descendants the land east of the Shiho River, on the border of Egypt, as far as the Euphrates River. They will possess the land of the Kenites, the Kenizzites, the Kadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Rephaites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed today's storytelling. Right now is the time to ask questions, so it's question time. Please get ready and geared up. I hope all our little dogs were listening. Moms, dads, sisters and brothers, please help them just in case. So, these are the questions I'm going to be asking. Are you ready, doves? Because I am definitely ready. The first question is, what did God tell Abraham to do? What did God say to him? How did Abraham show his faith? Who promised to give Abraham land to live in at the new place? When Abraham got the new land, why did he build an altar? Can you think of any blessings that God has gave you? How can we thank God for his blessings? First of all, I just want to thank God that I have a roof over my head and that he continuously supplies all my needs. Thank you for joining the City of Zion online Sunday morning service with Pastor Tim Grage. We look forward to hosting you again next week at 9 a.m. And please do tune in for our live daily devotionals Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. on Facebook at Tim Morphe Grage. For your tithes and offering, here are the banking details. Please note that your heartfelt giving to the Kingdom in the season aid the many struggling financially at this time, and so we thank you for your generosity. The City of Zion offers online Sunday school. If you have doves between the ages of 3 and 6, lambs between the ages of 7 and 9, or eagles between the ages of 10 and 12, we encourage you to join us at The City of Zion on YouTube for our Sunday classes at 10.30 a.m. Now, while church may be closed, our doors and our hearts are wide open. If you're in need of prayer, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at prayerrequest at thecoz.org.